in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to apply the light effect to your sketch now this light usually make your flat sketch look dramatic when you apply this to your sketch now you need to know that you might do this sketch in photoshop or you might do this with your hand just like a traditional um pencil sketch now i have this artwork right here which is not by me as you can see at the right part here you can see the name of the artist because it's not my work and secondly i am making use of this because this is not a digital artwork it is a pencil sketch a traditional pencil sketch and this will really show a lot about this but if you want to learn how to create a, a traditional pencil sketch in photoshop i have a story about that and i'm going to leave a link in the description to it where you can quickly watch that video and get an idea on how you are going to achieve something like that okay right here we have this work now the first thing you need to ask yourself is how do you really want to apply this light now i'm just going to apply this light in a more simple way so that you get the idea of how to do it then when you want to apply it in yours you are going to make use of it in any way you want to do this and the thumbnail you see on this video is definitely not my work so you need to have that in mind i never steal anybody's work to put it on my own name or get the credit for it all these are borrowed artwork just what i'm showing you guys is what belongs to me right yeah okay you have two ways of doing this the first way is by creating a new layer above your sketch layer which you have now the cool thing about this is that you need to merge all the whole layers now if you already are if you are working in photoshop and you don't want to merge all the whole layers or you don't want to merge your document you have the option of creating the merge copy of all your layers available in photoshop by making use of ctrl alt shift plus e and that it's going to help you make a merge copy of all your layers available in photoshop now the first method of doing this is by creating a new layer and setting that blend mode of the layer to color dodge now we all know that the color dodge or in case you don't know the color dodge apply light apply colors to the highlights and anything black is still going to remain black so let's quickly take a look at that before we apply any color so let's say right here we have this black right here and when i apply you can see that everything black stays black but the color is really affecting only the highlight now it really depends on how you want this and where you really want to put all this so i have my right there and i'm go i'll go back here and set the blend mode to color dodge now pick any color of your choice now in all this kind of um lighting effect or dramatic effect we always make use of the orange and something like the teal or the cyan color now all these are the things that's going to make your artwork look more attractive or more dramatic now you can go for any color like you can make use of purple you can make use of red any other color as long as it's something that you really need now making use of a new layer give you a whole lot of control over what color you are going to apply and i'm going to show you that in a bit so we have this layer right here and we can go ahead and apply but for here i'm going to be making use of um a cyan color just um just this color right here kind of like forgot the name of it i'm going to make use of this color and i want to apply a little bit of highlight over the um this part of the face and this part of the face then some other parts right here so that we are going to see how it's going to be now i'm not trying to be precise because i'm not going to publish this as my artwork and i'm never going to publish this i'm just going to make use of this on this video because this is definitely not my artwork but if i want to do something like this on my own artwork i am going to be precise so if you are doing this on your own artwork you need to be precise and know how to do it very well because you got the idea on how to do it all right so we have it right here so i'm going to start out at this point so the brush i'm going to be using it's the soft brush the airbrush in photoshop you can make use of any brush you can make use of the hard brush you can make use of any brush of your choice any single brush at all you can make use of that so i'm going to start out by applying a little bit of light right here and you don't need to worry because since you are working on a new layer you can go back and erase any parts you don't really need and making use of lighter color right here it's going to burn out everything and you don't really want that so you need to go a little bit darker since you are making use of the color dodge blend mode you need to go a little bit darker and start little by little then if you want to go higher you can increase the highlight maybe you want to do some kind of like a hot spot you can go higher and keep going 
higher and higher and it's going to create that kind of hotspot you want but i don't need that kind of hotspot so i'm going to undo all this and stick to the darker part of the color and i am going to apply just a little bit of light right here okay so i think this is fine and i'm going to apply a little bit right here and i'll come down to the nose i want to do a little bit on the nose i'm going to apply a little bit of color now i'm just trying to show you this when you are doing yours just be precise know where you want these colors to affect and how you want it to be you need to take take total control of everything so that it's really going to look so much nice and cool now i want to add a little bit of a rim light right here so i'm just going to add the light just like this because since I'm working a new layer, I won't try to be precise because I know I'm going to erase the areas I don't want this light to affect. So I'm going to add a little bit of a rim light right here. And on the hair, I need some glues on the white part of the hair. So I'm going to add that to it. Add a little bit right here. Have right here and uh, right here. Okay, so now this is really cool and I really like what I have right here. Okay for this part i don't want this part to affect the i don't want this part to affect the neck at this stage so what i'm going to do i'm going to select an eraser tool you can make use of any eraser tool of your choice i'm going to just grab the soft eraser tool and erase the areas where i don't want this to appear i just want this to appear only on the face All right, so now I have this right here and this is looking so much good and nice, but I'm just going to erase this a little bit for now. Let's really see what is going on right here. Now applying this only on the face, you can see what it's doing. It's adding a whole lot of drama to this. Now you can go ahead and apply this on every other area you want this to be. Take out your time and apply it on the hair and it's really going to be nice for you. But there's still something I want to show you. If you have something like a hair brush or some kind of glue brush to create some hair strand you can also do that you can use it to create some kind of hair strand right here and it's going to create something so much dramatic for you so right here you can see that i'm creating some kind of a glue alongside all these lighter part of the hair strands right here so i'm going to add a little bit right here and i'm just going to add stuff like all these right yeah. Now you can go ahead and add anywhere you want to add it to be, but I just want the light coming over to this part. Now I can say, okay, since I want, since my light direction is coming from this part, I can go ahead and erase this part right here and just erase a little bit of this so that the light is going to come back, come from only this part. Then I can go ahead and add more lights to those areas. And maybe I can just add a little bit like this. All right, this is nice and i'm gonna add a little bit on the lips then add a little bit right here okay this is cool and you can do anything else you want to do you can go ahead and do that so now you can really see what we are having right here so this is what we have before and this is what we have after adding a whole lot of interest and drama to your artwork with the glues we apply on the hair now if you have that brush it's something that's really going to be handy for you to make use of now if you don't want to make use of a new layer to do this you just want to make, put everything on the same layer it is very easy for you to do that all you just have to do is select your layer and now i wouldn't be able to paint on this layer because it's a smart object so i'm going to right click and rasterize that layer so that i will be able to paint so now that we have this and we actually want to do this on one layer all you have to do you have the options of changing the blend mode of your brush not the blend mode of the layer because right here so right here what we do we change the blend mode of this layer but we want to change the blend mode of the brush itself so select the artwork layer where you want to place this that is if you want to place this on one layer with your artwork you are the type that don't like mercy layer um, panel now go over to the mode where you have right here because the moment you select if you are selecting the move to you wouldn't be able to get this right here but if you select the brush to you are going to get the modes right here so from the drop down menu where you have the normal click there and select the color dodge 
from there you will be able to apply the same effect but on the same layer and you're still having the color dot mode so now you can go ahead and apply every single layer you want to do but now you can see the more you apply this the more harsh it is going to be so it all really depends on how you want it to be either you want to make use of the new layer option or you want to make use of the brush blend but i'm going to set this back to normal because i always make use of my blend mode alongside with my layer so that brings us to the end of this video and if you do make sure to hit the subscribe button not just the subscribe button ring the bell icon so that you my friend don't miss any new tips and tricks i will be posting every week